morning, boys and girls. I thought today I would read this book. This book is called The Three Little Wolves and the Big Bad Pig. Once upon a time, there were three cuddly little wolves with soft fur and fluffy tails who lived with their mother. The first was black, the second was gray, and the third was white. One day the mother called the three little wolves around her and said, my children, it is time for you to go out into the world. Go and build a house for yourselves, but beware of the big bad pig. Don't worry, mother, we'll watch out for him, said the three little wolves, and they set off. And so here they are talking to their mom. Soon they met a kangaroo who was pushing a wheelbarrow full of red and yellow bricks. Please, will you give us some of your bricks? asked the three little wolves. Certainly, said the kangaroo, and she gave them lots of red and yellow bricks. So the three little wolves built themselves a house of bricks. Okay, so here they are with the kangaroo getting the bricks. And then here they are building their house. The very next day, the big bad pig came prowling down the road and saw the house of bricks that the little wolves had built. The three little wolves were playing croquet in the garden. When they saw the big bad pig coming, they ran inside the house and locked the door. Okay, so here they are playing croquet on the lawn and they see the pig coming. The pig knocked on the door and grunted, little wolves, little wolves, let me come in. No, 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 said the three little wolves. By the hair on our chinny chin chins, we will not let you in, not for all the tea leaves in our china teapot. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, said the pig. So he huffed and he puffed and he puffed and he huffed, but the house didn't fall down. Okay, so here he is trying to get in. And so here he is huffing and puffing. But the pig wasn't called big and bad for nothing. He went and fetched a sledgehammer and he knocked the house down. The three little wolves only just managed to escape before the bricks crumbled and they were very frightened indeed. Okay, so here he is, he comes back with a sledgehammer and knocks down their house. We shall have to build a stronger house, they said. Just then they saw a beaver who was mixing concrete in a concrete mixer. Please, will you give us some of your concrete? asked the three little wolves. Certainly, said the beaver, and he gave them buckets and buckets full of messy, slurry concrete. So the three little wolves built themselves a house of concrete. Okay, so here they are getting the concrete and asking for it. And then here they are starting to build their house with it. No sooner had they finished than the big bad pig came prowling down the road and saw the house of concrete that the little wolves had built. They were playing battle door and shuttlecock in the garden. And when they saw the big bad pig coming, they ran inside their house and shut the door. The pig rang the bell and said, little frightened wolves, let me come in. No, 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 said the three little wolves. By the hair on our chinny chin chins, we will not let you in. Not for all the tea leaves in our china teapot. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, said the pig. So he huffed and he puffed and he puffed and he huffed but the house didn't fall down. Okay, so again, here they are playing outside and the pig shows up. But the pig wasn't called big and bad for nothing. He went and fetched his drill and smashed the house down. The three little wolves managed to escape, but their chinny chin chins were trembling and trembling and trembling. Okay, so here he is with the big drill. knocking their house down. We shall build an even stronger house, they said, because they were very determined. Just then they saw a truck coming along the road carrying barbed wire, iron bars, armor plates, and heavy metal padlocks. Please, will you give us some of your barbed wire, 
a few iron bars and armor plates and some heavy metal pad padlocks, they said to the rhinoceros who's driving the truck. Sure, said the rhinoceros, and he gave them plenty of barbed wire, iron bars, armor plates, and heavy metal padlocks. He also gave them some plexiglass and some reinforced steel chains because he was a generous and kind-hearted rhinoceros. So the three little wolves built themselves an extremely strong house. It was the strongest, securest house one could possibly imagine. They felt absolutely safe. Okay, so here they are talking to the rhinoceros, and then here they are building their house. The next day, the big bad pig came prowling along the road as usual. The three little wolves were playing hopscotch in the garden. When they saw the big bad pig coming, they ran inside their house, bolted the door, and locked all the 37 padlocks. The pig dialed the video entrance phone and said, little frightened wolves with the trembling chins, let me come in. No, 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 said the little wolves. By the hair on our chinny chin chins, we will not let you in, not for all the tea leaves in our china teapot. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, said the pig. So he huffed and he puffed and he puffed and he huffed, but the house didn't fall down. But the pig wasn't called big and bad for nothing. He brought some dynamite, laid it against the house, lit the fuse and, okay, so here he is again trying to get in. And here they are again, refusing to let him in. The house blew up. The three little wolves just managed to escape with their fluffy tails scorched. So he came back with dynamite and blew up their house. Something must be wrong with our building materials, they said. We have to try something different, but what? At that moment, they saw a flamingo coming along, pushing a wheelbarrow full of flowers. Please, will you give us some flowers? Asked the little wolves. With pleasure, said the flamingo, and he gave them lots of flowers. So the three little wolves built themselves a house of flowers. Okay, so here they are talking to the flamingo. And then here they are building a house of flowers. One wall was of marigolds, one of daffodils, one of pink roses, and one of cherry blossoms. The ceiling was made of sunflowers and the floor was a carpet of daisies. They had water lilies in their bathtub and buttercups in their refrigerator. It was a rather fragile house and it swayed in the wind, but it was very beautiful. Next day, the big bad pig came prowling down the road and saw the house of flowers that the three little wolves had built. He rang the bluebell at the door and said, little frightened wolves with the trembling chins and the scorched tails, let me come in. No, 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 said the three little wolves. By the hair on our chinny chin chins, we will not let you in. Not for all the tea leaves in our china teapot. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, said the pig. Okay, so here they are relaxing at home. But as he took a deep breath, ready to huff and puff, he smelled the soft scent of the flowers. It was fantastic. And because the scent was so lovely, the pig took another breath and then another. And instead of huffing and puffing, he began to sniff. He sniffed deeper and deeper until he was quite filled with a fragrant scent. His heart grew tender and he realized how horrible he had been. Right then, he decided to become a big good pig. He started to sing and to dance the tarantella. Okay, so he sniffs the flowers and it kind of fills him with joy, so much joy that he starts to dance. At first, the three little wolves were a bit worried. It might be a trick, but soon they realized that the pig had truly changed. So they came running out of the house and they started playing games with him. First, they played pig pog, and then piggy in the middle. And when they were all tired, they invited him into the house. Okay, so after he changes, the little wolves come outside and play with him. 
They offered him tea and strawberries and wolf berries and asked him to stay with them as long as he wanted. The pig accepted and they all lived happily together ever after. Okay, so here's the picture of them all happy together at the end. And the pig has changed his ways and they are all living together now. And that is the end of the story. So I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.